I got the crusher finished finally it took a long time but I I did only work on it on weekends so and only on weekends when I had time so but anyway it turned out really good I kind of went crazy uh, I mean, took it completely apart. I know, Matt, I showed you a lot of this, but Amy, I don't think I send you any pictures of this. Um, but yeah, it's, I took, I mean, everything in here was off, cleaned. New nuts and bolts. I put stainless, all stainless nuts and bolts in. The other one were just rusted and ugly and just everything and then uh, those roll those crushers right there the roller things were just really bad shape just a build calcium buildup so I cleaned all those up uh, the only, so the only parts like I say were the nuts and bolts uh, <clears throat> that one bearing right there that's a new bearing Everything else, like the chain, the sprocket, the shafts, everything is just cleaned. Wire wheeled. We've machined. I had a couple machined. I don't know if you can't really see that one in there. But that was machined and a, and a ferrule put inside there. And one right in here. Uh, yeah, anyway. And just painted it up real good. <clears throat> this thing was just caked and rusted, and so was this. Just I'm gonna send you a few pictures of the before on some of these parts, <laughs> just so you can see. But all inside there was just terrible, and sand blasted all up underneath here and everywhere to get all that rust and old paint out of there because the paint was chipping, and I know it was falling in there, so. Not a lot of it, but it couldn't have been good. Anyway, turned out really good. Yeah, and this is the part that machined and put a new. Um, oh, I forget the word I'm looking for there, but not a ferrule, but um, a collar. Um, I cleaned up the motor real good. <clears throat> I put a new cord on it too. It had a really short cord, about went to about here, and it just it would get wet. And you're supposed to have a cord at least, you know, you're supposed to get away at least five feet from the motor. I don't know why they cut it off so short, but so I put a nice waterproof heavy-duty cord on there. And anyway, it runs. Still makes a little noise, but. <laughs> Good time to sell it if you want to get rid of it. I don't know how much more wine we'll be making. And I looked them up; they weren't quite as much as I thought they were, but they're, they're anywhere from fifteen hundred to two thousand for something uh, for this size and this. And this one built pretty well. It's a good one. The newer ones are kind of cheap, but anyway. Um, only thing I got left to do is, this, and this cover here goes on it. It just slides up on the top there and kind of hides everything over here hides all this so I'm gonna leave it off when I showed you um, and then this thing I got a little bit more work to do on this this thing was just caked with some kind of calcium you can see if you get real close you can see the buildup in there still that white stuff that white stuff right there so anyway I'm gonna go and get all that stuff out of there and Clean it up the rest of the way. I mean, it was completely, the center part was just completely white. Anyway, it's done. And like I say, I'm going to send a few more pictures, follow up, just to show you. <clears throat>